Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 359. Uh, a medium level problem, but a very good one to solve. Uh, let's see what it what is asking us to do. So the problem name is find the longest equal subarray. It says that you are given a zero index integer array nums and an integer k. Okay, a subarray is called equal if all its elements are equal. Note that the empty subarray is an equal subarray. Okay. Return the length of the longest possible equal subarray after deleting at most k elements from nums. A subarray is a contiguous possibly empty sequence of elements within an array. Okay. So basically, like this is an array. Okay. What do you have to do? You have to find the length of the longest possible equal subarray. Equal subarray means all the elements in that subarray is equal. Now you can perform at most k deletions. That means within that subarray, okay, you can perform at most k deletions. And you have to return the length of the longest possible subarray. So let's see this example. Like here, the indices are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So it says that it's optimal to delete the elements at index number 2 and 4. So uh, let me write it like this 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3. Indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It says 2 and 4. So if you delete this, you delete this. So just see what happens these are the elements in your subarray okay all the elements are equal and the length is three so that is why three is your answer getting it uh, other you can just try out different possibilities as well like for example one three two three one three is there so the frequency of three is maximum here right so in short if somehow you can include all the elements or, or, or rather all the occurrences of three that will give you the maximum answer right uh, if you include all the occurrences of one okay then what happens the maximum uh, what do you call it the maximum uh, length you can get is only two right this is because this is one this is one you delete these three then also the length of the subarray that you get is only two okay and similar is the case for two. two two is just a single element right so though no deletion is needed but still the length is only one so hence your answer is three okay here if you just see it says that it's optimal to delete the elements at index number two and three you delete these two elements what happens you get a subarray of length equals to four Remember, you can perform at most key operations and it's not necessary that you perform those operations. It's at most key operations. Okay. Now, the number of elements I can have is 10 raised to power 5. Each number can be within this range and k is also equals to nums dot 10, right? So now if we talk about the intuition part, right? The intuition part, then suppose this is an array, right? This is an array. We have to find a subarray with some condition. That means it satisfies some of the condition. Uh, like here, the condition is that uh, if I choose a subarray, then you can have at most k distinct or you can have distinct elements and their total frequency can at most be k, right? This is the other way to look into this problem, right? What I mean to say, just see, just see here. This is 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, right? k equals to 2. So it says that choose a subarray. Another way to look into this problem is choose, uh, you know, the longest subarray such that it has at most k elements, which are not equal to the most dominating element, right? What do we mean by dominating element in an array? In this case, uh, an element having maximum frequency, right? An element having maximum frequency. So my target is to uh, have all the elements equal in the array. So obviously, I'll 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 be needing minimum number of deletions only when right my dominating number is the one uh, having maximum frequency right that is what we have to do this is the other way to look into the problem right so now what we can do whenever you see these type of problems a uh, sliding window comes to the rescue right uh, that okay i am something like this i am moving like this okay suppose here what happens is i i find that okay this uh, uh, this this subarray is valid for me right now the moment i add an extra element this subarray violates the condition. Now that condition could be different for different problems, right? But it violates my condition. So what we do, we start moving from left and we move from left till again, I get a valid subarray, right? This is how generally a sliding window problem is solved, right? Now, now comes the question, what's the, what's the condition here? The condition here is, suppose we have chosen a subarray, okay? The number of elements in this subarray is let's call X, right? Now, the total number of elements is x. Now, let's consider an element having maximum frequency, right? There can be multiple elements with maximum frequency, right? For example, there could be a subarray, uh, which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
so this is three three four three four four a sub array could be like this so here two elements have maximum frequency but what i mean to say right at whatever sub array you choose you can perform at most these k deletions right so you just need to keep a track of that okay whatever sub array i am considering right what is the uh, maximum frequency of any element maybe multiple elements have the same frequency but what is the maximum frequency of an element right so if the total number of elements i have in my sub array is x right minus what is the maximum frequency of any element let's call it y right so whatever is this value this tells me that these many deletions you need to perform to make this sub array of size k valid right out of x elements y elements are in your favor rest of the elements you need to delete right so that is what we do that is what we do so the moment still till the point this guy is less than k we are good to go because the number of deletions that we have to do is within our range but the moment this guy becomes more than k what we do we move our left pointer right we move our left pointer this is just a template of how you solve sliding window problems right so this is what we'll do let's look into the implementation and this will become very easy this is the maximum frequency right i told now that for any element i'll take care of the maximum frequency this is the left pointer this is the uh, number of what do you call it elements that we can have right this is the map that we have taken okay to keep a track of the frequency now right goes from 0 to uh, n right because i'll be adding elements i'll keep on adding the elements right so add the right element so map dot put a dot get right so simple if that element is already present increment the frequency or or else add it simple okay now just see keep a track of maximum frequency of an element how do we keep a track just see this is a variable right now whose frequency have i changed right now at this step it's for this element right so that means if the maximum if the free maximum frequency changes then it will change because of this element only right i am talking about the current iteration so max frequency equals to map dot max of whatever frequency you have right now and map dot get of this whatever you have just updated right this is this is this variable is basically telling me that okay uh, whatever sub area you are considering these these many elements are in your favor right consider then uh, them that these elements are in your favor rest of the elements you have to delete okay now if we have too many elements to delete delete from left how do i know i have too many elements so if i consider a sub array from left to right how many elements do i have right minus left plus one this is the count of elements right minus left plus one minus maximum frequency right this maximum frequency is saying that out of these many elements uh, out of this total elements right these elements are in your favor okay and if this becomes e greater than k that means the number of elements which are not in your favor which you have to delete is more than k then that means i cannot perform that step right so simple what we do map dot put remove the element from left right remove the element from the left this is what we do simple sliding window and at last we return the maximum frequency right we simply return the maximum frequency right so this is how a template of uh, what do you call it sliding window looks like that you 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 keep on adding elements from right till the point your array is valid and the moment your array, array becomes invalid you start moving from the left right so that okay now I, i'll keep on deleting the elements right remember the window size is not changing right i'm returning the maximum frequency the window size is not changing okay why why it is not changing because just see just see this is a sub array my friends okay and i said that uh, i said that uh, basically that the total count of elements is right minus left plus one these elements in in my are in my favor okay are in my favor now what i am saying is if i perform k deletions right out of x elements if i perform k deletions then actually that is equals to the you know that all the elements which were in my favor uh, basically form that sub array right so how do i form that sub array it is maximum frequency only this maximum frequency at every particular point of time is keeping a track of that okay these are the elements in your favor so this guy is keeping a track that okay the maximum frequency for any, any element is basically your window size right because whatever is the array size i delete all of them except the occurrences of the elements which are in my favor so that is why this is my window size right like for example if you talk about this it's one one two right it's one one two two one one so if i consider this whole window what happens the maximum frequency of an element is four 
okay i can perform two operations so what's the size of the array that i'll get the size of the sub array that i'll get it's four right the maximum frequency of the element right so this is what we do and that is why we return maximum frequency okay so yeah that's it for the solution uh, i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case you have any queries related to the solution mention that in the comment section i'll work on each one of them thank you take care bye, -bye.